Yeah. Hey, Shalawam. Um, no. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Dawan to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalawam to the elect. Come on. Uh, basically, what you see, what we have here, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, what the video gonna be called? Uh, well, the name of this video is gonna be called "This Is It." This or oh, I'm sorry, Salakia. This is the time. And right. uh, as you see, the theme lately was shit. The theme for the past shit was since we've been teaching for the past 15, 20 years, starting with myself and the other apostles have been this chip, the elites, the new world order. You know, uh, the, the the plan that the elites of the society, meaning the Illuminati, the Rothschilds, have got going on. Right now, we at the time where their plan is is right here. It's coming to fruition, man. And we got the proof. Now, for the past, let's say, eight years or so, since we've been on YouTube, and since the Great Millstone has been growing, GMS has been growing, and we've had people come, people go. We got the scoffers and the scorners. And particularly that have um, been the main advocates that we are nothing but a bunch of assholes that's lying, we're crazy, we're bugged out. You have one guy, you know, one guy. I'm never going to mention these guys' name, give them no shine. They know who they are, and you brothers all know who they are. It's, it's obvious. One guy that uh, did uh, more than one video, one particular video where he had a bag of potato chips, and he said, Look to her, look to her. Here's the chip. Here, here, here. I got the microchip. This is the chip you're talking about. And he ate, started eating the eating the bag of potato chips, right? But then, not too long after that, he started because I guess the different is is evident. He started saying he made another video. Well, no, no, I'm not saying the chip is important. It is important. Yeah, because the, the spirit revealed that that chip is is for real. Now, General Johanna and even Nate. Nate don't say that it comes up and Nate will mention it. Yeah, well, that the chip will. Well, but Nate, the, he, Nate leaves a gray area. He don't tell you not to take it because now it's so evident that that chip, that RFID chip is for real. It's evident. Okay, the white man Esau got it out there in your face on the TV, on the media, as we will show you. People, are, you know, people that right now that got the chip, the animals, we got animals, dogs and cats running around with the chip. You got eagles and hawks with the chip in them. Mm -hmm. The white man uh, at these so-called animal conservation places, they have hawks and eagles and wolves and certain, this devil is putting chips in the animals yeah. to so-called track their movements to help keep the population going. Your pets, like your dog or your cat, they'll say, look, you got to put a chip in the animal. I know a woman right now that has a chip in her dog. Okay, a woman that I used to deal with a few years ago, and um, this was like five years ago. They had that technology because she wanted she wanted me to pay for us. I ain't paying for that shit. And she got mad. That's why we ain't together no more. Because she wanted me to pay for her to get a chip in her dog. I ain't got I ain't having nothing to do with that shit, bitch. Right. You crazy? Right. Okay, even an animal. I'm not chipping my dog. I got a dog. I'm not, I'm not taking the chip. I'm sure as hell I'm not gonna put no chip in my dog. But these women, all you women are all gonna take that chip. The only ones of y'all that's not gonna take the chip are the ones that the Lord have reserved. The elect, the women of the elect. Okay? But outside of that, all you niggas are going to take the chip. General Johanna of ISUPK, he outright came and told his congregation to take the chip. He, gonna, he said, yeah, he's going to take it. He said, you're going to take it if you want to eat. Because he's still telling you that that's not the mark of the beast. You see what I'm saying? But we've been talking about the chip, and a lot of you niggas said that we were GMS. Everybody knows GMS is sick. But now, something that GMS said is coming to pass. Right, right. According to the spirit of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man? Right. Now, uh, did you want to? I want. I want to start with this yeah. video, man. Come on. Okay. Come on. I can't believe you just paid with this hand. Like you just literally put your hand up, I, and you're good to go. Like that's crazy. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna speak until after the video. I'm a senior writer with BuzzFeed News, and uh, in order to see what the future of money looks like, I decided to live for a month uh, just paying for things with my phone. And somewhere along the line, I ended up getting a microchip implanted inside my hand to see if I could be uh, the first person in the world to uh, pay for something out in the real wow. world. Wow. Uh huh. Using, uh, that sounds like what the Bible talked about. Try to, uh, what we talked about. Onto my phone as possible. And make sure that uh, I could use alternative currencies and uh, try to skirt cash or credit cards in any way possible. Okay. You're using your phone as a payment method. We call that a proximity mobile payment. And we estimate that by the end of 2016, Can you pause this? U.S. Mm -hmm. adults. I just paused this for a hot second, and this commercial is just from two weeks ago, right? Yeah, I'll pull it down. 
Okay, this commercial was to, published on May 21st, 2016. Okay. Today's June 2nd, June 3rd. This is just a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So this is recent. This ain't from uh, five years ago. Right. Go ahead, brother. That would, that would make it worse. This is a recent commercial we'll on the media. $27 billion using their phone at the point of sale. But you look at that in the context in hard volumes, I mean, that's a pretty small drop in the bucket. Hey, do, you guys, uh, do you guys accept Apple Pay or any of like, the card reader things for your phone? Can't buy anything here, right? No. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. When you're only using your phone to pay for things, you find that you're sort of pushed to two extremes. Really big chain stores or really small niche kind of overpriced coffee shops and places like that. A couple weeks into my experiment, uh, I ended up going to Sweden. Sweden happens to be way far ahead of the United States when it comes to uh, getting rid of cash. I ended up uh, meeting with some people who are really active in the biohacking community. <laughs> I say something real quick. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, he said he went to Sweden and they're way far ahead of than America and using cash. Well, the the other countries and um, especially in Europe, they're ahead of America and everything. Yeah. So you know the, we'll we'll talk about the chip here in America when people in, uh, in Europe. Oh yeah, yeah, we've been doing that. Like hyper, like not hypothetically. For instance, you have something that's common in people's homes now. It's called compact fluorescent lighting. CFL light bulbs. The people in Europe been using those things 10, 15 years ago. In America, that's fairly new in the past eight years, I'll say. You know, but people in Europe, ah, oh, we did that already. We did that already. So th those things, uh, uh, like like the scriptures talk about how uh, Britain is the mother of, of America. The things that happen over there, the things that are happen here, they'll happen in uh, 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 Europe first. All right. That's why they have the NFC chip over there, which has been around for for longer. You um, know? Yeah. An RFID NFC chip. You turn it up a little bit. Take a deep breath, me. Okay. It'll be loud. He's so getting could, the chip. If I could put it in my hand, maybe I'd be able to pay for something with my hand. That was it. Breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Keep breathing. How's it feel? It's like pinchy. It definitely hurt like way more than they said it was going to. It looks sort of like a grain of rice or like a pill that's in my hand. I think the idea of using a microchip implant in one's hand to be able to make a payment, I do question the mainstream application of it, but I really think there might be other ways where that might come to fruition, not necessarily through like a surgical implant, but uh, you know, through other kind of integrations with the body. So once everything healed, I decided that I needed to start focusing on how to make this chip work and I really wanted to become the first person to ever pay for a meal at a restaurant with their hand. Eventually, I stumbled across a Venmo engineer who uh, said that he could help me uh, with my task. What they decided is that they would put my Venmo uh, unique user ID onto my chip, which would basically make it so that any phone would recognize my hand as a Venmo app. <laughs> you're going to write your secret token for Venmo, and you're going to go up there. They're going to scan your hand, put how much we owe, that's it. Good to go. That was so sick, dude. That's amazing. Yes. That was yeah. That's insane. He thinks it's cool. What I to do, and I kind of couldn't believe that it was ever going to happen. Pause that. So he just paid for the meal in this particular restaurant. This particular restaurant scans for the chip. So that means he, and this is in New York City. You could tell only New York. Well, that's not true. But New York had a little eclectic little spots like that with the new gentrification. That could have been in Brooklyn. For all we know. But anyways, he went and had a little meal with his friends. And he was able to pay for his meal with the chip. The money, the account on his phone, I guess he had. Because they got it already where you could pay for things on your phone. But he transferred the monies on from his phone through his chip. <laughs> you know? And paid for that little meal and that little dive that they were in. And the other guy behind the counter, it looked like he could be an Israelite. Maybe be one of the Spanish-speaking tribes. He thought it was so cool. These white boys, you niggas and the nigger woman, and you Latinos and the rest of you tribes, you follow these Edomites. So this is a commercial. This is already out on them. This is already out. Y'all gonna follow this, especially the, the woman. You you Israelite women of the tribes, 
the black, Latino woman, the Native American woman, y'all gonna all get this chip. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, finish it out. This thing jammed in my hand for nothing. My hand is paying for everything today. If the wallet is here and your phone is sort of a healthy middle ground, something like the chip felt to me like the furthest possible extreme of, you know, futuristic technology. The challenge with mobile payments is that, it, especially in the U.S., it's so easy to use cards. After doing this experiment, uh, I would bet that in about 10 years, it's kind of abnormal to carry around a wallet that's just stuffed full of cash. Wow. Yeah, cash is done away with. You can hang cash up. Can you use the hands? What's next? Maybe the foot? Give me your head. That was it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, cancel yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah cancel that. We don't need that yeah, bullshit. Yeah. But I got this right here, though. You got the Venmo, because the guy, he used he used the chip to pay on the Venmo app on the phone. And Venmo, it says right here, Venmo is a free digital wallet that lets you make and share payments with friends. You can easily split the bill, cab, cab fare, or much more. Download the iOS. iOS. So you got the that app that he used on different phones, which accepted the chip. Yeah, cash is being done away with on so many levels. The other day, I went to uh, well, I don't know if it was the other day or maybe a week or so. Somebody had sent me some money, okay, on uh, uh, uh you know, by way of uh, wiring, and the guy at the place was like, well, he was he was trying to get me to, get me to get these cards, and said if you get the card. And the other person get this card, this digit. In other words, they're trying to get you to go by way of, they're doing away with cash. Cash is already pretty much out the door. And they're pushing for you to, okay, well, get this card. The card that he was trying to get me to get had the chip in it. The guy told me right at the damn check cash in place. It has the RFID chip in it, and you, you know? And, and he can just swipe it through the phone and all. So we're, well, this is the time. We're here. Years ago, we talked about the chip is coming, the chip is coming. But no shit, this is just a couple of months ago. Now it's here. And you just saw the commercial. And that's a commercial that was on the news uh, uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And there'll be more because they're going to push it. Now, this, this is the time of the, that we've been prophesying about for the longest. Is that the, it's going to be on the media networks. Get that chip, rock that chip. Little Wayne, a brother from Cleveland, I did a commercial with Little Wayne and they, these new, and they're they doing it by way of these cell phones. These phones already got the chip in them. Believe me, your driver's licenses already probably have the chip in them. They already got the chip on our person. Now they want to really get it in you by way of your phone and your wallet or your ID. Some of that paper money has a chip in it because they came up with them new hundred dollar bills and twenties and that those have chips in them, man. Right. You see, the first people that get it, it's going to be like basically test experiments. Come. You know, like the first people that get it. Well, they eat it on the commercial right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's what they show. Sure well, y'all actually witnessed him getting the chip. He went, he was over in Europe. Then he came back. Sweden, I believe it was. In Europe, they already got the chip. And then he came back to New York City and went and found the place. Now, all the places are not acclimated to it yet, but they will be. He found a little dive restaurant. That, yeah, we scanned for the chip, and y'all saw it. He scanned him, and he paid. He was able to pay for his little lunch with the chip in his hand. So the, this is the time. The chip is here. So now, what they're going to do now, within the next week, couple of weeks, they're going to start pushing it more. Those commercials are going to be more mainstream. Then they're going to start getting the celebrities. Yeah. Well, they already are. It's yeah. already here. Yeah. Little Wayne, but then I'm talking about bigger people like Brad Pitt. Okay, uh, Tom Cruise. Oh, uh, Denzel Washington. Then, oh, he was coming. I'm, I'm talking about like all the so-called white. Oh, oh you eat him out. Well, you eat him out. You're going to you be the first on board. Right. Right? You know what I'm saying? Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, uh, Ashton Klitscher. Yeah, yeah. With his simple-minded behind, which most of them people like name we believe are jinx anyway. Yeah, yeah. But they look like white people. Right. They're top celebrities. Yeah. You know, Angelina Jolie, Jennifer Aniston, and uh, all these other top people, man. Mel Gibson going, well, Mel Gibson was a conspiracy theorist. Right, right. Who knows what he going to do? You never know what Mel Gibson crazy ass going to do. Yeah, he but might. he sold out. But he, well, he might just, no, I'm not getting the chip. Yeah, he might speak up against it. He might speak up against it, right, man. Right, right. Hulk Hogan ass going to get the chip. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, all these top celebrities, man. And then the Denzel, Sam Jackson going to die. Sam Jackson going to do 20 he commercials. He might have the chip already. He might already have it. Well, them guys probably already got the chip. Yeah, and Morgan Freeman. Morgan, oh, Morgan Freeman's Satan. 
straight up. No, that Shakespearean word, that get that shit. Yeah, he gonna get it. He gonna tell you to get it. And all you Negroes are gonna get it. Then, of course, like I said, Lil Wayne gonna come back. Then they gonna get all these other. Jay Z already got the chip. Him and Beyonce. Okay. And so you niggas are gonna jump right on board. They're not gonna have to force you out to take it. Y'all gonna take it. Right. But then the one, there's gonna be people who ain't gonna wanna take it. That's when they, real soon within the next, cause hey, this thing may go down real, man, within the net, man, by this summer, the constant people are gonna be getting them con- You guys are playing games. By this summer, by August, they may be throwing you in concentration camp by that point. Yeah. This thing is right here. Yeah. Okay. What do I got? This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. Now we're going to go in the scriptures, man. And once again, confirm everything that we've been saying through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And for all the scoffers and all these other guys that call themselves Israelites, you, you all that, look, man, y'all can pay heed to them guys all you want to. Mm-hmm. The idiot just made a video, uh, 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 the, the dead beats of GMS, whatever. Fine, whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever, man. All that fucking folly is about to soon be done with, man. Because we're going to see, like the scriptures that then shall thou be known who are my disciples. Right. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Right. This is uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. Uh, verse and, and these guys, they're not talking about what we're talking about, the chip. Here it is. We're sitting there talking about the chip. We just showed you a commercial where this thing is actually in effect right now. But all these jokers could do is sit around talking about bullshit. Mm-hmm. Female, feminine gossiping. Mm-hmm. And the shit they gossiping about is lies anyway. You understand what I'm saying? It's conjecture and, and, and feminine female gossip and shit. Why? Because those guys are set up to dis- for, as distractions to block what we're saying or try to get us to demonize us so that you people out there don't listen to what we got to say. You say, oh, yeah. Cause more, and especially you niggas. Because you niggas love gossip and drama. Because you niggas, that's why y'all watch Murray Povich. That's why y'all watch Jerry Springer. Y'all like that type of stupid folly. That's why the majority of you niggas we tell you are going to die. And you know what? We don't care about these guys making these videos about us because we're not trying to get you. We're not trying to save you niggas. We want to see your destruction. We want to see your death. The only people we're concerned about, we're going to keep saying, is the elect. Because no matter how many millions of videos that so-and-so and so-and-so make, mm-hmm. talking about, oh, this guy's this, he's that, he's that, he dead beast, that. You know what? The elect is going to see that and then bust right through it and come to Great Millstone anyway. <laughs> through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. Go ahead, brother. Let's get the scriptures going. Yep, this Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. That's right. That's us. We're standing upon our watch because we're still going out in the streets and we're still putting these videos up telling you about what's to come, which we have been doing faithfully. Go ahead, brother. Right. Uh, and I and will watch to see what will say what we what he will say unto me. The Most High, why Yahweh Shai? Because it's all the Most High's program, and by way of Yahweh Shai, who's controlling everything, and Yahweh Shai is the one that's talking to us, man, in the spirit, by way through the scriptures. That's right. Okay, and, and, and we are doing the work that Yahweh Shai left us to do, man, and that's what we're doing. We've been telling y'all about this RFID chip. Now it's here. Right. This is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. is the time. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. It, we're in the time where it, we're going to be skipping uh, of Revelation 13 and 16. And we're going to read that, too, Re- Revelation after 13, this. Come, Revelation 13 and 6. We're going to come into the time. We're basically coming into the time. We're just going to the judgment, Revelation 14 and 9. We're just giving, just telling cash, look, you know, right now it's, it's, it's still a warning period. You know, look, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. The enemy's coming. Pretty much, but then as soon as it's gonna be, look, this is the judgment for what you did. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You, in that movie, Lean On Me. Yeah, I knew you was thinking it. Yeah, yeah. Go Dan, go Dan, get yeah. the Dan on the doors. Yeah. Go Dan, the enemy's coming. Yeah. Joe Clock. Yeah. 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 We're like Joe, we're in the spirit of Joe Clock. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The principles. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It says, uh, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what. I shall answer when I am reproved. Woo! I am Yahweh, and and the and Yahweh answered me. And the Most High, Yahweh, Ba Shemi, Yahweh Shai, have been reproving us. We catching hell. We got infirmities. We be we have to deal with false accusations from the scoffers. So that's why we're getting our reproof now, so we don't get it with the world. 
And we still continuing to do the work. We're standing upon the watch. Right. That's why we still out there. And all these guys that are talking about us, they're not out there. Every once in a while, they'll sneak out there. And they only do that when we put them on the spot. Go ahead, brother. Carl, it says, and, the, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. And the Lord did that. That's why the, uh, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave us the scriptures, man. It was made plain for us so with the, through the spirit of the Lord. The Lord set up men like King James to translate this Bible out of the Hebrew and the Greek and the Latin so that we could get it today and we read it. And in the spirit, it was plain to us, and we are running. He that readeth may run, and we did that. We read it, and the ones of us that still faithful, we ran with this thing. That's right. We got the knowledge, received it, and never looked back, and we continued to run. Right. Go ahead, brother. Yep. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Yeah, the vision is yet. The ultimate is the destruction of America. But now, this is the appointed time now. Right. The visions, the prophecies, man. Right. The visions that John the Baptist, not John the Baptist, Salakia, John the Revelator saw this is it now. Yeah. The chip and then the the the, the, the seed said, well, this is it. This is this is it. This is the time, point of time. The end of the appointed time is the missiles. That's yeah. the final analysis. Go ahead, brother. Yep. Yeah. It says, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. That's us. We running, man. We running with this thing. We pushing the word. We've been telling you. The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast that the scriptures talk about. Go ahead, brother. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. And okay, because at that time, when this was being written, that wasn't the appointed time. The prophets back then didn't know when it was going to be. But now this is it, and it's speaking. Yeah. The chip is here. People are already getting it, and they're pushing it out there for you people to get the chip. And the majority of you are going to get it. Go ahead, brother. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. This is the end. We're at the end. We just showed you the commercial. That's the proof. Yeah. The Edomite and other people... There's already thousands of people that have that chip across the world, right here in America. Go ahead, brother. Right. It shall speak and not lie. And then y'all saw the videos of the brothers from California. Yep. Two military guys already came up and said they had the chip in them. So the majority of these guys in the military got the chip, and y'all just don't know about it. So if you got family members that's in the service, excuse me, if they don't already have the chip, they're going to get it real soon. Right. The, the chip is in people's passports as well. You know, if you want a passport, you got to get the, the, that chip is in the passport. So what you think is next? It's in a passport, just like it's in the wallets now. You know, people tra transform, not in the wallets, in the debit card. People are going to transfer it from the debit card to their hand. What do you think? If you want to leave the country, then what? You have to take the chip. You, you have to have chip. a chip. So you're going to be trapped in here. Right. One way or another. If you want to come into the country, you got to have a chip. You got to leave. You want to leave, you got to have the chip. Yep. Yep. C continue on. It says, uh, though it tarry. Wait for it. Though it tarry, Apostle uh, Tahar read the scripture. And we did that. Because going back to from the time of Abba Bivens, who taught our elders, King Masha, High Priest Arya, and Yaikwab, you had a lot of guys that came in from that time till now that came and heard this word and they put garments on and they went out in the streets speaking for a couple of years, a few years, and after a while they got tired. They lost their faith because this thing didn't come in their lifetime or when they thought it was going to come, and they fell off and went back in the world. The year 2000, we all taught that. High Priest Ariad taught that. So all you other jokers, you other cocksuckers, Yahana, especially you, Nate, HODC, all you other jokers. I'm not going to mention FOPI and AOC and all you guys. Well, you two particular groups, I'm not going to mention. You want to know why? Because you guys... Uh, nothing but Johnny come late these new jacks. You guys wasn't around back 20 years ago, okay? You wasn't around. You're babies, man. Okay, HODC guys, I know. I came up under those guys. Uh Barack and Banyamian. Those are my those are my original camp leaders. Because uh uh them dudes were the uh, uh, Barack. Well you had yeah, Yashawan who fell off. Yashawan, Barack, Atazaban, and them guys, Shakaya, uh, you know. And if I may, what's the name? If you want to look at AC, AC, AOC, yeah, 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 H O D C, H O D C. I did a page, um, I did a video on this very page, saying what that uh, H O D C. They teach that the mark of the beast is the church. Yeah, you guys teach it. So, so how come you guys ain't got more videos up? But get, speaking on them, like I said, some of the names I mentioned, some of them guys are back in the world. A mafia. I, I mean, well, I haven't seen a mafia, so he's, I don't know whether he's in the spirit world or he's just out there, but. Okay, then you had, I can name the names of everybody that was in the camp. Shamshawan, which back then his name was Big Judah. 
the Benjamite Ibaria and his brother Ainash, the, the nigga that taught me the who so called taught me the knowledge I'm wise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. That was the Brooklyn camp. Which Apostle to her in actuality was the one who set that camp up in Brooklyn this was before I came, maybe a year or two, a couple of years before I came in. Okay. Oh, and my man, that's what else? And Great Millstone, Elder, Big Gad, Tata Dakwia. He was in the, he's another one of the original members of that camp along with myself. Uh, um, but anyways, Apostle Tahar, actually along with Apostle Tahar, I'll tell you the story, along with Lahab, that nigga Lahab kind of went and set up that camp along with another uh, guy, brother who used to be in years ago, Aria Allah, the original Aria, not the Aria Allah from Texas that's in GMS, this, uh, the original Aria Allah, he was a Gadite, and him and Apostle Tahar used to roll real tight, and they were like really the two guys that kind of established that Brooklyn camp, and then afterwards, that's when uh, these guys, Barack, okay, uh, uh, Tazaban, and Yashawan, Aharon, which was Yashawan's brother who passed on, they came up under them two men, okay? And they brought them up in the spirit of the apostle, Taha, and the guy, Ariala, that was with them. They said, look, they left and left Yashawan and Barack and them in charge of the Brooklyn camp, and they went and set up other camps, okay? So then at that point, by the time I came along, Somehow, oh yeah, Kazak, you had so-called the high priest Kazak, which he was up when the high, he was the one of the so-called top seven. When I came in, I guess at some point they put the Kazak over the camp, right? And then Kazak, because Kazak was the one that brought me in the camp. My side, when I joined the camp, I joined the camp with three other guys who actually, who were my cousins, so-called family members. And Kazak was the head over the camp at the time when I actually walked through the door. He was the one that brought brought us into brought me into the camp, but then Kazak said, "Oh, I'm going to write a book," and he left mm -hmm. Barack and Yashawan over the camp. Okay, so that was the, you know, the guys you know now. Well, Yashawan is back in the world, but Barack is still around. But Yum Yum was in the camp too. Uh, those are the guys you know today as H O D C. Okay, so uh, 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 I originally came up under them guys. And then eventually what happened, I had left the camp, or I put out that camp, and I ended up joining the post, the 44th camp. You know what that, that's another video that I will be doing soon with Karajas by. Okay, but anyways, you guys teach that, HODC. You do teach the, the RFID, uh, the RFID chip is uh, the mark of the beast, but you guys ain't going hard. And the thing is, too, they don't catch no hell for it. And you ain't catching it because you guys don't want to, because you still, you guys want to be safe. You don't want to be put in the category of GMS, but that's fine, man. But see, that's why the reason I went into that little story, Salaki didn't, but I just put it out there. It said, go, go back. Right, go right. it, Terry. So all them guys that was in this thing, going back to the 80s, going back to the, the early 90s, a lot of influx of people come in. But a lot, man, most of the half of the guys I named are back in the world. There's guys right now I can sit and think about that was in the truth back then when I was coming up. Guys that I came up with in this thing that are back in the world. Guys that were over me. You know, so-called leaders that I came up under that are back in the world. Guys that I looked up to back then, back in the world. It tarried, so they didn't wait for it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It says, uh, though it tarried, wait for it because it will surely come. We did. We waited, man. Apostle Tahar, you can say what you want about the man. He never stopped teaching. Apostle Gabar, myself. It's been a rough road, but we still here. Okay? Though it tarry. So, like, the point I wanted, High Priest R.E.R. and you niggas that was back there know I'm talking, even including, you know, the queen of the two-thirds. He knows. And he admitted it. He did admit that on one video. He actually told the truth. The queen of the two-thirds. That was taught back in one West. Mm. High Priest R.E.R. taught that. Mm. America was going to be destroyed before the year 2000. So, of course, all of us, the students of High Priest Ariyah, we taught that. We believed that. Right. We, but then there was nothing wrong with that. That's called hastening to the day. Right. Right? Yeah, come. Yeah, so, yeah. so we wanted this place to go. We wanted to go back then, man. I've been in this truth for 26 years. And when I first came in, I came in 1990. That was around the time of Desert Storm. I was like, wow, man, this is it, man. This is a perfect. I came in. And brothers, this is it, brother. You came in at the perfect time, brother. Because we thought the missiles were coming back then, 26 years ago. Yeah. You should, that's the spirit you should be in. You should want this thing to come. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Right. It says, uh, 
uh, because it will surely come and it will not tarry. And you see right now, we've been prophesying about the chip and there it is right in front of your freaking face. The video that we showed you. Right. It's here. Right. And there are other commercials. There was another commercial I saw. And I'm looking at the other shit. Not that the android, this whole android in this thing. Yeah. That's all a part of that, that new world order coming in, man. Right in front of your face, the chip. The guy scanning, he got the chip in him. And a lot of you guys are going to take that chip. Go ahead, brother. Come on, I got something else that Go we'll ahead. get on that. Uh, uh, okay, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 2. So now the real deal is this. See, at first, it might be just for the... I mean, we don't know how this thing going to happen. Right. For the first week, when they really just say, look, okay, the chip is here, come right. get your chip. A lot of you people are going to run to it. A lot of you niggas, all these stupid Edomites, you so-called white people, y'all all going to go, y'all going to get that, y'all going to do it. You see it right there. The Edomites went all the way to Europe to get it. Yeah. And came back. So there's people here. So all these stupid, dumb, retarded white people and these white boys and these white women, they're going to get that chip. But then a lot of you niggas, you black women, you Latino women, you Native American women, y'all going, the women, you women are going to run to get it. Because it's the new, anything that's, oh, no, oh. Yeah. You know, women, women always want to stay, uh, Women always want to be in style. They want to keep up with the Joneses. Right, right. Anything new and in style, women want to get down with it. So all you yeah. women are going to go get that chip. I got a so-called woman. I'm going to tell you right now, man. I already know for a fact my, my so-called woman going to get that chip. And once she do that, then, I, then me and her are done. Right. No matter how much I love her, man. I got the chip. I say, well, right, bye. Because she ain't going to make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Maybe. The, I mean, well, we'll see. Who knows? If it's meant for her to be with me pre-adventure... Abaratus, I, if I happen to be one of the Lord's elect and it's ordained for me to make it, and my so-called woman that I'm dealing with gets the chip, she ain't coming with me on the ships. Nah. So I'm going to have to get another woman, which is no big deal. So I'm going to have to say goodbye to that bitch. Right. It's a cold deal. If my son gets the chip, if my mama gets the chip, they ain't, she ain't, they ain't making it. Okay, the RFID chip, that's the attitude you brothers got to have. This is the deal. It's a deal changer because nobody that has that chip in them is getting beamed into no ships. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, my brother. I'm going to bring this out real quick. This is Ezekiel chapter 2. Uh, I'm going to start at 4. For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Go ahead, brother. Hey, but, and, and that's what, what shoot with this thing, brother. Shoot with this thing. Right, and that's what you see before your eyes, man. With, with the the main men that was out in the on the forefront on the streets teaching the word, you know, saying what's to come. But a lot of you guys, you bucked up. You you was stiff necked. You was hard headed. You was impudent. You know, uh, and that day when it's really forced in your face. You know, they sat there with a bag of potato chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. yeah, yeah. Mm, good. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna see who the men of the Lord are. Oh, you gonna see, and folly demons. Right, right, right. You gonna see who the mouthpiece of the Lord is, man. You gonna and then and that day you gonna it's gonna be too late. You know, it's gonna be too late. You you gonna be like, you gonna wish you never made all them scoffing videos, all them comments on the on the comment board talking shit, getting into brothers' personal lives and things of that nature. You know, you gonna wish you never did that to the men of the Lord, man. <laughs> you know, yeah, like Apostle Gabal, as he said one time in speaking, when, when you niggas wake up and find yourself in one of them concentration camps, a whole host of realities are going to set in. Yep. You're going to concentrate. You know, you concentrate know that terror, man, when you wake up, the terror of, of something, the horror, the sheer horror. <laughs> when you wake up, you niggas like that night before you got snatched up, you know, hey, man, if, you, if any of you niggas ever been locked up overnight, even if it's overnight. I, I, got I can speak on this, man. Like, hey, man, you've been arrested and shit. You, man, it was stupid shit. And then, you know, you know, hey, man, it's hard to sleep and you're in a bullpen, but then you wake up in the morning. Like, you might you might nod out and, you you know, when you're sleeping, you, your body relaxes so you forget where you where you are. Right. So you're thinking that you're sleeping when you, as you're opening your eyes. <laughs> you know, you're thinking you're back home in your yeah. bed. <laughs> yeah, but then when you totally wake up and that grog wears off, and you realize you on that hard cot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. realize you in that cell. Yeah, yeah. The reality is sex. Oh, fuck, I'm in jail. <laughs> <laughs> like a pasta dog say, eating sugar frost. Then you got some guy coming and giving you bologna sandwiches and sugar frosted flakes. 
something for you. Good, There's a revelation chapter 10 verse. So, but that's going to be... But, it's, but that's going to be worse. Yeah. Because at least in that situation, you know, okay, man, damn, all right. You got I'm going to go see the judge, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of hours, I'll be out of here. You got to get a P, I'll get a PTA or yeah. I know my people's going to bail me out. Yeah, ROR. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. no, that ain't going to be none of that. And it's going to be way worse conditions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got something. This is Revelation chapter 10, verse 7. But in the <laughs> days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of the most high... The mystery of the Most High should be finished as he hath declared to his servant the prophets. Yeah, <laughs> right now. See, yeah, okay. it's a mystery to people. See, what the scriptures say? The, uh, I have uh, uh, given my secrets unto the servants, the prophets. Uh -huh. The yeah. mysteries of the, heaven, the kingdom of heaven is given to who? The disciples, the men of the Lord. And the mysteries are being actually being spoken to you at this very moment. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these guys, they see, the, the, you know, there's a saying, niggas don't believe shit stink till they smell it, you know? And right now, the mystery is in your face, you know, but until it actually hits you, until it actually really hits you, that's when you're going to know, again, who the prophets of the Lord are, of the Lord are, man. You know, because right now, again, it's a mystery come to you. Yeah, that's right. That's why you can't get it. The scriptures say that the uh, the seeing the seeing eye and the hearing ear is of the Lord, man. You know? So um, th that's that that's on that. That's a beautiful scripture, brother. That's a beautiful scripture. Y'all saw the commercial. We played it for you. And that's just from a couple of weeks ago. But like I said, I saw another one. That wasn't the same one that I saw that I mentioned on the live show the other night. That's a different one. So that's right. That means there are more than one. And the commercial that I saw was on News Channel 1 right. in New York City. Yeah. Okay. It's Sunday. I believe that it was Sunday, early Sunday, Sunday morning, around 12 noon, somewhere around there. And this is another one. So these commercials are out. So it's, been, it's, it's advertising now. Right. Go ahead, brother. I'm um, gonna jump to the uh to the to the uh to the thicker things. Yes, sir. Let's go right there. Let's go right up in there, man. Right. This is Revelation 13, 16. He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Free and bond, meaning either the niggas the niggas locked up in prison or in the military. Because if you're in the military, you're, 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 you're you are you are you are a GI government issue. Yeah, yeah. You are government property. Yeah. So whether you're in the prison system or whether you're in the military system, you all, you all, well, those people, if you niggas locked up in jail or Edomites or whoever the hell you are, whatever nation you are, if you're in America, if you are Arab, if you're a Chinaman from China and you come to over here in America and commit a crime and they lock you up, if Esau has custody of you, no matter what nation you are, no matter what your class is, you are going to get the chip. They're going to, because you have no rights anyway. In prison, you have no rights. Nope. And in the military, you have no rights. You are GI, government issue, meaning you are government property. Okay? So, free of bond, meaning all the guys in the military, they're going to get the chip because it's going to be mandatory. Police force, that's nothing but the military. You guys are slaves too. Police officer, state trooper, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, fuck. What's the guys that come? Uh, National Guard. The National Guard. Well, that's military. You know, but I'm talking about the other guys. The ATF. The guys that are you, you right, stacking right. weapon. ATF. Right, right. ATF. CIA. CIA FBI. CIA guys already got the chip. FBI. Yeah. Yeah, another branch of the military. U.S. CIA. U.S. Marshals. Okay. Sheriff's Department. Even you guys. Whether right. you're the sheriff, like you, if you belong, you, if you carry any kind of a badge. You are going to get the have the mandatory you get the chip sheriff's department, the local town sheriff. Right. The, yeah, yeah. The constable. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh you 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 uh doctors, you nurses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, uh um, um EMTs, yep. and the guys and the ambulance drivers. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna have firemen. To. Yep, yep. Firemen. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yep, yep. Because in order, in, in order, because again, it's gonna have all your records on there, man. How, how some? That's New York somewhere. That's New York City. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh in order for you to, um, um to uh, perform or practice uh, uh, medicine, you know, you, that's gonna be the new uh, data sheet. You know, so orderlies. So even if you're lowly oh, orderly, yeah, yeah, you in the chip. If you work, if you working inside of the medical system on any level, the fire department is really like another military. Right. That's another branch of the military. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're masons. Yes. Yep. They're low form of That's masons. right. I, I yeah, know the firemen. I have family members that are firemen, and they tell me, sure, I'm a mason. Low level masons. Yep. Straight up. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Right. Now, this is uh, Revelation 13, 16. And he calls it both. He calls it all, 
both small and great. The key word there, if I may, is all. He calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. That means everybody, man. Nobody's exempt to receive a mark in the right in their right hand or in their as forehead. you saw on the video, right in that hand, right right hand, right. and that prophecy is here now. That prophecy is being fulfilled as we speak. Right. We are in the time of that prophecy right now. Right. So for you black conscious niggas, the by the Bible, the Bible. But the but the book of the dead and the Kabbalah and uh 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 the the uh, what's that book they quote they quote all the time the Egyptian book of the dead the Egyptian book of the dead but there's another one polite and I'm oh, always talking oh, about oh, my, I, the Maat the forty two laws of Maat the Maat ain't talking about that man nah. the Bible is talking about that go ahead brother yeah. right right and it says uh and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark as you just saw in the video not right now and at the end of the video the other Edomite said. Yeah, man, instead of carrying a big bulky wallet with cash and people could rob you. And we said that years ago through the spirit of the Lord. There we go. He's the one that said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? The big bulky wallet that no man may buy. Now, Nate came against us hardcore for that. But now it's right there. So all you fucking dummies that follow Nate, what do you got to say now? Exactly. He could. He paid for the meal by, with the chip. Now, cash is still in effect. I mean, we've got cash in our pockets right now, but they're phasing it out. Then it's going to be their point, and I say by shit in the summertime, they can, and that could happen just like that. By fucking July, money could be, the cash, so-called paper money could be done away with. They could, I'll prove it to you. They did it when it's something. You stupid, dumb niggas that's from New York, right? I lived in New York many years of my life, right? Years ago in the 80s, even in the early 90s, uh, up until the early to mid 90s, mid -90s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the mid 90s, they phased out cash, mm -hmm. meaning that they used to have the tokens, tokens yeah. which were coins. They were little coins, like silver and gold, silver and gold, little coins. And you know what? You could you, you could buy shit with you go to like a regular little bodega. If you didn't, if you, if yeah. you, you didn't have no money, but you had a token and the, the little Arabs or the, the Dominicans or Puerto Ricans. They would take tokens. Yeah, it was it was a, it had a trade value. Yeah, it had a trade value. Yeah, I, I know because you could go in a regular store. Mm -hmm. Let's say if you had three tokens on you and you wanted a sandwich, all you had was them three tokens. You went in the regular corner store, in New York City, and said, "Yo, man, I got tokens. You take tokens." Yeah, yeah. Which they all took them. Yeah. You said, "Yo, yo, 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 poppy, you take tokens. Yo, my man, you take tokens." Yeah, yeah. I'm on a sandwich. The sandwich was two dollars. All right. You wanted a sandwich and a, a twenty-two ounce of beer. Let's say. So altogether, it had been three dollars. You had three tokens, and you went in the store and said, "Yo, I want a hero, and I, I, I want a twenty-two. You put the bear and said, "You want a sandwich, turkey and cheese." Then you know, back back in ninety-two, ninety-three, yeah, that been like yeah. that have been about right, right? You go in the store, yeah. you go in the store, you put, give the guy the three, the Arab or the Dominican or whoever, right. you gave him the three tokens, they took it. Okay, okay, and you were able to buy shit with the token, so it was it was money. It was uh, okay. no, 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 yeah, yeah. It's just, it was it was money, right? So the tokens was like a form of, of it was the coins. It was a currency. It was a currency. But then, like around the mid nineties, they brought the Metro card in, mm -hmm. the which has a chip in it, the Metro card, and they, they and next thing you know, and it happened quick. I got one in my wallet too, I believe. Yeah. I, 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 oh, I, I happen to have a Metro card on. Me. Yeah, me too. I have one on me. There you go. Oh, you got okay. Well, I'm gonna pull mine out. There we go. Here we go. The camera's right there. Yeah, here goes the Metro card. The barcode shit is on the back. The MTA. See? This is, you know, for you people that's not from New York City, if you ever come to New York City and you want to travel around the subway, the, the New York City subway system, or the bus, or the bus. Well, no, I'll be honest. The bus. That's the one for D.C. Okay, this is the one for D.C. <laughs> now, the bus, that's the back of it. The, whoa, you know, you want to know something very peculiar? The bus is crazy. I guess for whatever reason, I don't know. I can't explain it. The bus, if you come in, because recently in the past few months, there were points where I had kind of jumped on the bus. The bus takes the Metro card, of course. That's much easier. But the bus still takes coins. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. New York City, yeah, I'm it saying. Does, it does. Now, if you got, uh, it's, it's $3 now. Oh, damn. So if you got uh, $3... <laughs> And quarters or three dollars and change, right? It goes, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's funny. That goes back to when you know years ago. Yeah, when they took the tokens. But yeah, 
But yeah, and they had the token. You just put the token in. Yeah. But the bus, the New York City bus system still takes the coins. Yep. Maybe they're just a little further behind. They're not really focused on the buses. Right. Because maybe they're going to they're gonna do away with them buses soon anyway. Right. They never got around to eliminating that. The bus will still take coins. But people take, you. don't get me wrong, a lot of people take the bus in New York City. You got thousands of people who still take the bus system, but the, the subway system is... It was shaking. Yeah, yeah. It's what's shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Millions of people take the subway system. Tourists take the bus. Uh, uh, tourists take the subway. Yeah, because the bus number the one, bus. the bus system is all is traffic. It's all fucked up. Yeah. The subway system. You get on the New York City train subway. Boom, boom. When you go, you can go any point in the city anywhere. And then the New York City subway will bring you to the Metro North Railroad where the Amtrak and the and the L I R, the Long Island Railroad, which will bring you New Jersey Transit. New, New Jersey Transit to the Take you to New Jersey, take you to Long Island, which is way out there, or bring you to Connecticut, mm -hmm. which is the Metro North. You understand? But you have to get that Metro card, man. But they phased out the tokens, and you go on the subway system, you got to buy. They'll take cash, but you only, you can only purchase the Metro card, and they got the machines. The cash is going to be done away with. Now it's just going to be the chip. Right. When you go to get on the subway, your chip, you're going to go right to the uh, turnstiles, yeah. And whoop, wipe your hand through yeah. and walk through. And which means they're going to phase out the token booth clerk. Right. And you ain't going to need the token booth clerk. Yeah, yeah. Right. In fact, the one in D.C., um, you pay, you actually pay less if you, you if you swipe. Yes. So they want people to get that card. Okay. They got easy pass when you're on the highways. Exactly. <laughs> if you got the chip, they're going to have it where, like, you just put your hand up, you pull up, like, you know. Right. But the easy pass, you... Because when the Easy Pass first came out, what happened was what they was doing was they was giving people tickets for safe things. You you hit a, you hit a toll and then you got to a toll too quickly. They'll give you a ticket and say you were speeded because they they knew it was a certain amount of time. So what what, what happened was my mother she tried to hide her Easy Pass because she knew she was flying or whatever. But the Easy Pass still was red regardless. So it don't matter if that Easy Pass no even if it's not up in your window up there like that they can still read it. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if you got the chip, they still be able to read it. It don't of matter. Of course they're going to be able to read it. It don't matter. Of course they're going to be able to read it. So that's that's the thing. With the chip, it's already, like, in other words, you might have to put you just drive. In other words, when you come to so-called tolls, as you your chip is going to, the, 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 those monitors will pick up on the chip in your body already. And when you drive through, you're just going to drive through, and they're going to know, okay, you paid, you know? Mm -hmm. You're just going to be able to, I mean, don't they're going to take the credit off your chip. Right. But you ain't going to have to worry about stop. You're just going to be able to drive right through. Ooh, it's going to turn green automatically. Right. Because as you pass through, yep. that system is going to pick up on the chip. Yep. So that'll make that easier. Yep. Yep. And, and, and everything is about convenience in the society. Yep. You know, because it, it, what, everything. I, I got Hulu. I got TuneIn Radio. You know. Um, People are lazy. And it makes you lazy. Well, well, the thing is that, well, the point I'm um, presenting is that pretty much is that it's so much shit. That requires email and requ requires a yeah, pin, yeah. which requires a everything, password, everything, everything, everything. Hulu, Netflix, all that, man. So it's gonna be so easy, just whoops, just like they got um um in the video game system. They got uh the PlayStation got the uh, wand, you got the Wii, you got Xbox has the same thing where you can, I think that's the wand or whatever, where you can you can stand in front of it and just move around. You know, so it, it, man, they're gonna present that shit even to your kids, man. So look, your kids are gonna be look, look, I need that, I, I want this, I want that. Yeah. And the thing is now, even in the scriptures, what the scriptures uh talk about how how the uh uh uh, uh basically how basically the, everything is upside down. The, the the parents are listening to the children. Yeah. As opposed to the child, the parents dictating what the children are supposed well, to do. Which that's all a part of auto ab chaos, order through chaos set up by the right. elites, the Illuminati, the Rothschilds and Rockefellers and them. Because if you discipline your children, you will be penalized for that or prosecuted. Right. You so, beat your, your, your kids act up, you beat the shit out the kids, and then what's going to happen? Child services is going to come take your kid away. We said this a million times. Take your kids away, make you look like a bad person. They're going to scandalize yeah. you. Yeah. Take your children away from you. Right. So if the, so if, if the media has an influence on your children, on the, the average everyday children, it's going to have an influence on the parents. You know? Because the children are running these those, these homes. You're yeah. goddamn right. They're running the homes. The children are running the homes, man. They're plain and simple. You know? That's goddamn right. The women, the, 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 well, the women are the children are running. The children run these damn women. Right. Can you believe that? 
Then when the kids grow up and get to be a certain age, they don't leave, man. The hell with that. The hell with that. I ain't going nowhere. Right, right, right. Eight, grown ass 18, 17 year old kids, 20 year old kids, man. But this society is all upside down, man. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Uh, and it says, verse uh, Revelation 13, 17, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. That's the chip, the RFID chip that you're looking at. You see? That no man may buy or sell, and they're showing you the prayer. That's the, and they say that this is the wave of the future. You're not going to be able to buy food. And Nate, remember Nate? What you got to say now, Nate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The money system is going to be phased out real soon. And you ain't going to be able to get a cup of... He said it in the video we showed. You ain't going to be able to get a cup of coffee unless you got the chip. Yep, in the future. So like General Johanna said, you want to eat? You're going to take that chip. So General Johanna, we know he sold out, man. Yeah, completely. He probably already has the chip. And then all you guys that fought, like Kevin Cesare and the rest of you, what are you going to do then? Go ahead, brother. Right. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's that chip. Yep. Which is 666. Yep. The barcode. You're going to have the, the barcode. barcode. You're going to be a walking barcode. Everybody that takes the chip is going to be a walking and barcode. And that's the name. That, that, the RFID chip is the name of the beast. That's it itself. Right. That barcode, that's, on the, that's your name, which is the mark of the beast. Right. You By taking that chip, you acknowledge that you worship the beast. Yeah. Simple and plain. Esau is your daddy. The so-called white man in Esau is your father. Right. Pursuing the John 844. Yep. Yahweh Shai already knew about that. That's why he spoke. You are of your father, the devil. All them wicked niggas he was talking about, they're back here in the reincarnation. And every last one of them wicked ass Pharisees gonna take that chip. Because they're here now. General Yohanna is one of them. Nate is one of them. Bubble Eyes is one of them. So on and so forth. These wicked ass guys that know that they're Israelites. Okay? That really, at one time, they knew about Yahweh Shai, but they denied him. These wicked guys, like Nate, Christ. Nate has got to be one of those wicked Pharisees and scribes, man. Yeah. Okay? Karn. Go ahead, Revelation bro. chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice. Now, here's the, the, the see, because we're in the time of the first one. Now, this is just the judgment. And you know what? We're going to end it on this. Mm -hmm. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast. Meaning, take that chip. Because like we just said a minute ago, once you take that RFID chip, you are acknowledging that you are a servant of the beast. Go ahead, brother. That's right. It says, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. That's right. It could be, who knows? They put it in the hand. But some dude, the one guy, the military guy in California said he had it in his head, right. the back of his neck. So they could put it in the back of your neck, which is your head, or put it in your hand, wherever they put it. They could put two chips in you. Once you do that, you are acknowledging the image of the beast, meaning you're worshiping the spiritual demon, Satan, and the image of him, which is Cesare Borgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You mean you're acknowledging America, you're, uh, the American flag, all that. Everything that this place stands for, man. Yeah. Okay? Esau, Esau is basically trimming his fat, pretty much. Who's, who's down with the system and who's not? Yeah. You know? It says, uh, in the third... Angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast in his image, because the chip represents all that's this, the, all of that in a nutshell. The philosophy and the ideology of America, it all boils up to that RFID chip. If you Easy, take that, man. then you homosexuality, transgender, all that wickedness of America, and of the beast himself, and of Esau himself, it goes beyond America. Yeah, 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 yeah. It goes into the power of Esau yeah. ruling the earth. Go ahead, brother." Yep. And it says, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Get that RFID chip. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, <laughs> which is poured out without mixture. That the nuclear missiles and the destruction and the chariots coming back. Yahweh Shai with the angels, man. Yeah. Coming back to destroy and decimate Esau on the earth, not just America. Yeah. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup. Of his indignation. The cup of his indignation. That's the missiles. Yeah. And those chariots and Leviathan. Right. And then, oh, and you know, we're a part of that too, because after the America is destroyed and certain the missiles drop, when the Lord bring the ones of us that's gonna make it into them chariots, and when, when we come back down at them chariots, this that's gonna be the second half of it, man. That's when we're gonna get a chance to really get down. Yeah. We come back down in them Kalel Superman bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Esau is still going to be kind of somewhat in power in certain places. 
And the Lord is going to let us have fun actually getting that indignation. And get busy. That's when Ezekiel 9 and 4 are going to come into play, too. We're going to, we're going to man. Yep. See who has the mark of the Lord. Yep. Right. And it says, uh, and he shall be tormented with. That's when Jeremiah 16 and 16 are going to come into, yep. come into play. Turn to hunters. Yep. It says, uh, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. For Yahweh Shai in the presence of them holy. When Yahweh Shai and the angels come back to destroy this place. Go ahead, brother. Right. And in the presence of the Lamb. Yahweh Shai. That's, hey man, that's talking about the day to come, man. The actual destruction of America. The Lamb is Yahweh Shai. Him and the angels are going to come back and destroy this place. Right. Go ahead, brother. And, and the smoke. And of, in the presence of the Lamb. That's right. Go ahead, man. And the, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. That's talking about here in America. That smoke, when them missiles hit and decimate this place and turn it into a desert. That's the final checkmate. And then the, this place is going to burn for a long time. Right. It's going to be a memorial, man. It's going to be smoldering. And we're going to see it from afar off after we've been delivered out of here. Look, that was America. That, that, as, a, as a monument of this is what happens to a society when it defies Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Right. Go ahead, brother. It says, and they have no rest. No, no, slack it. And they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image. And whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Yeah, because what's going to happen, <laughs> the other nations in Esau are going to be put in slavery. But you got Israelites that's going to take that mark. They're going to get rest, but you got to understand the symbolic, the symbolic part of it. The symbolism. The symbolism of it. Okay? Esau is going to go into captivity because that mark was Esau's mark. Esau ain't going to get no rest. He's going to work until the point of his extermination. Right. Okay? Right. But, uh, you know, with that, we just wanted to get this. We, we hope this is edifying to the brothers. The spirit was on us. We wanted to do this video last night, but it was pretty late after the live show from the apostles. Um, so, you know, uh, we did it today. You know, we had to go to work today. We got back in through the grace of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. We were able to get this in, man. And uh, we want to try to get this up. And, uh, hey, brothers, this is the time. This is the time. We The prophecy for you, brothers. Of the elect out there, man, y'all see that this is it. This is it, man. So with the next couple of weeks, shit is gonna get it's gonna get deep. Shit is getting deep, man. So don't worry about these scoffers and scorners and stuff like that. Let them keep doing what they're gonna do, man. I'm telling you, man, checkmate time is here. That's just go hard for this word, man. Yeah. You gotta go hard body. Just keep doing what we're doing, brothers. That's it, man. Yeah. All right, you got something you want to say, brother? Nah, that, well, that, nah, nah, you said it all. You said it all. Good. So with that, man, we're going to say, uh, I say, and my brother here, we say, Shalom to the elect. I, I mean that when I say it, man. It's not a catchphrase. Because the rest of y'all, I don't give a fuck about you, man. Right. Shalom to the elect, because they're out there. Whoever they may be, Shalom to you, man. Right, shalom. All right.